I think daratumumab is at front line of the monoclonal antibody revolution in myeloma. Obviously we have elotuzumab, which is a true immunoadjuvant targeting SLAMF7, synergizing with lenalidomide, creating clinical benefit. What's really impressive about daratumumab is it's the first antibody with monotherapy activity. On its own, it drives about a third of patients to good quality responses, despite them being heavily pretreated and all the other drug classes failing them. So with that signal, and this was the basis of the accelerated approval in the United States, we now have combination data where if you put daratumumab with imid, or with bortezomib, so with lenalidomide with, uh, with the Pollock study and with uh, bortezomib in the Castor study, both these large phase threes are real groundbreakers. They've got hazard ratios, frankly, Charlie, that we've never seen before in myeloma, 0.35 essentially, in favor of the three drugs over the controls. And the important point about that is the clinical benefit is unprecedented. Um, with daratumumab used in early relapse, we're seeing median progression-free survivals that haven't been reached with three to four years of follow-up under our belt. So, you know, that kind of data is particularly compelling. And I think as you think about where this places us, I think at the end of the day, Charlie, daratumumab will be the front line of a series of antibodies um, that will change the therapeutic paradigm for the disease. And I just want to sort of give you a little bit of granularity around the data. Um, what we're going to show is how when you combine lenalidomide with uh, daratumumab, you see really remarkable disease control over long periods. You see very high quality responses. And in the Pollux trial, what was really striking was even in relapsed refractory disease, to see a very high rate of MRD negativity validated against the control group in which patients received lenalidomide and dexamethasone alone versus the triplet. So to have in that setting striking differences in favor of the three drug platform is I think the highest level of evidence and certainly in the US drove the full approval of the combinations which was relatively recent.